on the recent controversy. <laughs> Huh? What do you want to say? What we have to say on the RBI story, sir? Last evening, when I was returning from Mumbai, I stumbled upon a visibly disturbed Paytm CEO Vijay Shekhar Sharma. But let me tell you, he looked. Very flamboyant, despite the accusations which have come uh, and are mounting on him of uh, that of uh, uh, the uh, mollified intentions by Paytm following the RBI circular, which sort of puts a lot of suspicion whether Paytm was involved in money laundering, misuse, alleged misuse, or the leakage of personal data for customers like you and I. Through our PAN numbers, RBI, of course, had recently implemented a decision uh, last week which restricts Paytm uh, Bank from uh, adding more money into its wallet. The unique wallet concept which Paytm had had launched has come under scrutiny of the Reserve Bank of India, which has barred the Indian customers from adding more money into Paytm wallet. Uh, the reason, of course. Uh, is not known, but RBI sources uh, are giving indications that Vijay Shekhar Sharma and his company have come under a lot of scrutiny over the accusations of money laundering following the investment made by Chinese company Alibaba and its subsidiary Antfin, which was holding 10.3% stake in Paytm. Uh, in 2017, let me tell you that, uh, let's rewind the clock uh, to 2017. Good six years ago, uh, Vijay Shekhar Sharma was very smart. He tried to, uh, he almost successfully sold off 36% stake held by Alibaba for a whopping 1,470 crore uh, through his 197 uh, network communications uh, private limited, the parent company of Paytm. But it's this 10.3% stake which has also come under scrutiny because Vijay Sharma has shown that a 100% comp uh, company owned by him, Netherlands-based company called Resilient Asset Management has uh, acquired the voting rights and the percent of the shares held by Antfin. So this is also trying to give the Im impression that he may have wanted to cull out the Chinese presence in, in Paytm, but uh, RBI scanner makes things very, very difficult for him to operate this company, prohibiting uh, people like you and me to use any banking services except the use of UPI, which means you cannot add money into wallet, you cannot use it for fast tag. These restrictions are very huge. And uh, while he was returning from Bombay, uh, I kept persisting with these questions on why uh, these accusations are so damning, the charges of money laundering, the investment by Chinese companies, why not an Indian company, why he was so persistent to use a Netherlands-based company route to invest here, why uh, the alleged misuse of more than 1,000 uh, accounts uh, related to one PAN account number uh, were under suspicion, uh, why such uh, PAN accounts of people have come under scrutiny, he remained very effusive. He scooted away in his Jaguar, a cool 1.6 crore Jaguar, uh, almost evasive on my questions. While I persisted, he remained evasive. He did not want to ask, answer the questions, but he was also carrying a smug expression on his face, which showed how much flagrant disregard he may have for this RBI notice, or the fact that when he floated this company in 2010, what was exactly the motive of this company? Did he disregard the laws of this country? Did it disobey the laws despite repeated reminders? What was his whole objective? Of course, RBI wants ED2 to a certain, RBI wants uh, MHA to a certain these facts, RBI also want PMO to know about to be apprised of these serious accusations. And of course, uh, it will be a matter of investigation who was the end beneficiary of all these accusations. We are going to bring you more details 
uh, on this developing story as we progress into the uh, next month close to february 29th the, the date when paytm's most operations will cease to exist the paytm uh, paytm banks uh, operations will cease to exist